Hey, good morning, everybody. Dano coming at you from Pompano Beach, Florida. Today I'm going to be working on, or I've already started on this 57 Chevy uh, pickup uh, cab. The uh, the bed is done, the frame is done. Uh, they brought me in uh, after the other guy uh, uh, retired. So um, what we got here is this this cab, and you can see that if I posted a couple of uh, images, they they uh, media blasted this. And this this corner is uh is actually the, the the better of the the two. I already started uh, on this on this truck uh, last week, and this is what I ended up with on this side. It's all been uh, you know I cut it all out, uh, patched in the new steel. I formed all this uh, and welded it in. You know there's always going to be uh, for for metal work when you make it by hand, unless you're doing an English wheel stretcher shrinker. Uh, tools like that, you know, you're, it, it, there's always going to be a little wave or such or something like that. But the windshield gasket goes goes in here, and the body guys before they get to that point will you know do their light fill, and they'll they'll tie it all in, and it'll it'll be beautiful. But you know, it, it's not like I filled it you know with bondo. That's all. That's all steel. The uh, the, the step uh, was uh, cut up a little bit and had a uh, a wave to it. Uh, I'm gonna end up fabricating a uh, stiffener to, to go up underneath, uh, you know, it'll be like a, an upside down uh, channel to run. So that way when they're getting in and out of it over the next, you know, how many years, it doesn't settle again. And um, what else we got? Oh, this is the, uh, this this is gonna be really something. That's why I, I wanted to post this. The the underside of this this brow is is really really bad um the, the the only good part about it is that they've got the uh right over here the uh the replacement uh they, they make a replacement for it and uh it, it it's 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 gonna get most of it um uh, but i need to i need to reuse this this hem then the replacement uh, is going to be going you know going here all the way across of course you know where the tie-in goes will be some minor detail uh, however the inside they don't make replacement for that so that is going to be a real uh, neat trick for me to have to cut that out and to roll it it's got a radius you know in four different directions uh, with with a lip on it and return so it and it's going to be exposed. They're not covering this uh, with uh, any kind of uh, finish, uh, you know, material. So it, it's going to have to be right, tight, and that, that's going to that's going to take a, 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 all my skill level to be able to pull that off without, you know, rollers and, and fancy tools. It's just you know my two hands and uh, and and my eye. You know that that's that's really all I uh, I can uh, bring. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, this one's pretty bad. I had a 58 uh, when I was much younger, and uh, so it's basically the same truck. So it, it's I, I've been here, I've been here before, and I'm feeling pretty good about this one. So I'll be posting again, and uh, and, and and you guys will see see what I'm up to. Until then, have yourself a good day. Bye bye.